They call this the most dangerous place in America. Not just DC, this America, most dangerous place in America. Did you know? In the last year, over 20 rappers from Washington, DC have been incarcerated, and 15 more have been murdered. The nation's capital has one of the most violent rap scenes in the country, with rappers getting shot or locked up every other week. But it isn't color begging and gangs that's producing these rappers. It's all about what neighborhood you're from. And the most notorious hood by far is in Southeast DC on 37th Street, also known as the Yo. 37th Street is only half a mile long, but videos about the area garner over a million views. Rappers from 37th include Shy Glizzy, No Savage, Swipey, Baby JMO, Octaclicka, Romilly, Young Threat, Gizwa, Young Jose, and more. Unfortunately, just last week, one of the key characters in this video, Baby Jema, was arrested for allegedly driving in a stolen car and crashing into the barrier around the Capitol built. He is currently facing nearly 20 felonies. But before that happened, I pulled up to the Yo on two different occasions, including the 4th of July, to find out what life is like in the most notorious hood of DC. We just pulled up to the notorious 37th Street in Southeast DC. We're about to get out, say what's up to the guys, and see if we can't have a good day at the cookout. Who am I here with? Man, it's Young Threat back in full effect. I'm sad this rap shit about to go back when I'm used. Young Threat is one of the youngest rappers from 37th, who's already getting hundreds of thousands of views on his music videos. Where we at right now? On 30th, I'm on a hill, man. Safest place in America. Can't go nowhere else in America safe in the head. I got money making set with me. Money set twin, what's up? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. Pick a left or a right, little bro. Let's go. It's a high speed chase, so we gotta get low. Money set has been dropping a lot of banger music lately. And a fun fact about him, he has an identical twin brother named Twin Glock. How you feeling? Shit, chilling, man. Live on the hill. What are your goals with the rap stuff? My goal is to run it up. I ain't trying to be a broke rapper, man. Hustler man. It's about money on, it's no fun on. If you guys need uh, some help with the stocks, I put $8,000 dollars in and lost six thousand of it so i could pretty much guarantee you guys like an 80 percent loss on anything you give me probably within a month or two damn oh my <laughs> damn that shit to do so fourth july 37th what do you guys do for fun this is my first fourth of july i've missed two on locked up how do they celebrate fourth july in jail you make the best out of every situation man freedom man keep the ones that told man freedom man just told hey, old man live from the churches hey, man and we gotta go in the hey, daytime keep on robbing you know i don't waste time before dropping out of high school to pursue his rap career baby jmo was actually a bad basketball star who had multiple D1 scholarships to play the sport at the collegiate level. Him right here, he used to tell me, hey, homes, go play basketball. But, but, I was doing me. If you been out of Fizz and you ain't got Big 30 Sam on you, man, you not from 30 Sam, man, because you ain't rapping. Southeast 30 Sam, man. I heard niggas get over to jail, they wasn't rapping the set, you hear me? Niggas get over to seven gangster. Two times, hold up, three times. Three times, hold up, hold up. How long you lived here for? Man, all my life, it's the trenches. You gonna eat or get eight, man, you hear me? If you want to see me and Jamie go shot for shot just wait till the end of the episode for the matchup of the century alcohol wall versus the cold ass rider why did you do that I'm alcohol wall man shout out this dude that's my cali man we was out here shooting shit like the taliban come through and that bitch i like a cellophane i'm trying to take a flight to japan what up jmo how you feeling i'm cool man i'm chilling man i'm on biker boy time right now i'm gonna holler at y'all though that car wicked me out got the jakes right there look at the jakes are they gonna cause problems tonight you think sometimes they be cool no fourth of july sometimes they want to be on nigga dick free jmo might have take a tour around the uh, around the hood might have show y'all all the historic landmarks around here you want me might have take y'all to the uh, memorial over here the monument long live whites might have take y'all right here so I heard a lot about whites that's just like a uh, homie yeah, that, that... long live whites man long live dirty whites Boy. you see niggas come right here oh you could be like oh he, they at the white house you hear me it's the white house right here whites was a close friend of many of the rappers from the yo in july of 2022 he was tragically murdered only minutes away from 37th at the age of 19. What, what's behind that boarded up door just an apartment Man, it's, 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 it's a vacant man it's, it's a vacant house it's really the trenches wait damn there, a lot of these are abandoned yeah, all of them. Oh, Open shit. All of them. Oh, these are project housings, yeah? Yeah. Are those free or you still got to pay for them? You, you pay something, but it ain't too much. Yeah. It ain't nothing that it hurt you. This shit's 16, 17 dollars. You think if I moved out here, I'd be straight? Nah, you'll definitely be straight. As long as you can be used to the loud noise that goes on. When you hit the alley, you hit 30 same up top. This is the toys alley right here, man. Free the alley boys. Free Earl, free Shetty, free, free Flip, you and Free SD, free Giz, free Savage, man. What is it like to have so many of your friends like either taken out the streets by like violence or by uh, the police? I mean, that's gotta be hard to deal with, yeah? When we lose a homie, that shit be surprising because nigga ain't coming up in here and doing nothing. And one of our homies getting missing, you know what I'm saying? It's always some it's always like shit. out of the area type shit. It's always some miscellaneous shit. You should, you already know if you from 30 Sam, ain't no way. Nah. You gotta have everything planned before you leave off this hill, cause 
You leaving off here, anything can take off. Fizz, he be riding this way. Police, Police don't real, like us. They hear yeah. from 30 Sam, they don't like that. See, them people, they know I'm about to blow every time they come up here, they say, where is Ricardo? Yeah. They trying to get me for anything. Well, you but just got out not that long ago. Yeah, and I ain't been in nothing. I bet you're fast as shit, too. I got never been caught on feet. Yeah. Never been caught on feet. It seems like the the internet has pegged this place as like the, the most dangerous place in all of DC. Nah, they you know why they saying that? Because we dangerous. Niggas don't get dangerous with us. We dangerous. That's just what it is. We a family up here, right? We big on loyalty, man. We will handle it accordingly. You play with family up here. That's why they, they call this the most dangerous place in America. Not just DC, this America, the most dangerous place in America. I don't think they coming like how we coming. This is B3 Osama right here, man. This is my little brother. B3 Osama? Were you uh, born and raised in 37th? I'm an original. Bag man, nigga, he thought it was sweet. Brand new AP hit they block for a week. Just bag man, bitch, for a car with no key. He claimed he saw he went down to sea. What's it like growing up here? Treacherous. <laughs> What's the best part about growing up around here? Playing football in the yard, cooling. What's the worst part? Shit sound like 4th of July every day, man. Threat was telling me last time this is the safest place in America right here on the yo. Definitely is. You could Google that. The ops did pull up. They're not pulling out. They they not even gonna pull up. What do you wanna to say to people out there that might be watching this? Fast five gang on no gang. ODY. Free the man, I don't let him in. Free Savage. Free Savage is a shout out to the 37th rapper, No Savage. Last year he was arrested and sentenced to three years in prison for firing a gun inside a Tyson's Corner shopping mall. He was confronted by multiple rivals while he was alone shopping. Many believe he acted in self-defense. Ah, uh, look at this bitch ass. Oh, I come across him. Oh, I come across him. I just want to let it be known. I apologize to all my fans, everybody that feel like I let them down. Most of all, I'm sorry to the people who got injured. Anybody who was running around, around running in that mall and got, and you know, feel of anything or being scared. I'm sorry for scaring you. But you gotta understand, I was pushed in that corner. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I back against the wall, that's what's gonna have to happen. Self defense is a motherfucker. His music is some of my personal favorite, with songs like Reaper, Wapi Up, and Wap absolutely banging. Spin with that short ass AP, geeked up. Two Drake's gears and SD stay tweaked up. What do you guys think about uh, No Savage just getting Savage three years? Savage run away, that's what money do. A good lawyer. I thought he was gone. We already know the outcome, because he made a song before he went there. Told him, we told him, 50K to my jewels, lawyer, I'm right back buzzing. Man. You know what I mean? He locked up and he trending right now in the city. Oh my, I'm 17. I'm Sam Tain. I like how you say that, 17. I'm the youngest doing it in the city. I'm the youngest is doing it and I'm the youngest rapping in the city. You with me? Young Thread, I promote violence. I'm Young Thread and I promote violence. Young Thread, I promote violence and I'm back on bang time. Then I got him saying I'm promoting violence. Then I got him saying I'm on bang time. What's bang time? Some people not, might not know what bang time bang is. Time. Like, look, this is what banging is. When you say you banging, you hustling. Like, yeah, I'm banging, man. I'm banging. Hold up, I can't stop right now. I'm banging. You with me? It's I keep about. my banging in the bedroom primarily. Oh yeah, I be banging like that too. They know Young Thug knocks it off the walls. Too you much. knew that? I ain't know. How'd you know that? We live in the same household for same 10 years. He know I'm knocking shit off the wall. He hit his oh, shit. Oh, you guys are blood brothers? Yeah, it's my blood brother. He might think it's a drink going off and I'm blowing shit down, <laughs> down there. You with me, boy? Hey, get my man Kelly, man. Get my man Kelly. Kelly right there on the yeah, bicycle. Yeah, yeah. yeah no rapper. You got the e-bike. Yeah, no rapper. Yeah. This Mr. Don't Get Spanked right here. You know, I'm always trying to push the positivity, <laughs> trying to get the youngest to stop the violence, you know what I'm saying? We got Mr. Stop the Violence and Mr. Promote, uh, the, promote the, violence. the Violence. At the end of the day, I look at it like this, man. These my young brothers, I try to overlook what they doing and focus on the older folks. Because at the end of the day, they only going to do what they see their peers with their OGs with the people talking around them. You know, we still dealing with this, the consequences of the shit that happened in the 80s. So I'm always trying to make sure that these youngers evolve, you know what I'm saying? I'm always going to pull up whatever they at and make sure I show love because it's not a lot of that in this city. You know, it's countries out here who dropping bombs on each other, but all that shit stopped with a peace treaty. If you're able to look inside of yourself and realize that you're more than your environment, you're more than the trenches and you can evolve beyond that, then you're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? You just got to put yourself in a position to elevate. Don't get spanked. That's the message. Read between the lines. You see Black Lives Matter everywhere. Black Lives Matter not coming up to yo having conversations with the youngest. They making money off of it though. They're going to build them a nice mansion and they're going to overlook the projects. Yeah. That's what they do. You don't see Black Lives Matter coming in the hood trying to reinvest that money that they made because that's really what my movement about the monetization of our trauma the shirt says black lives matter psych nah don't get spanked everyone knows to record music you gotta have good headphones so today's video is sponsored by raycon i've been rocking their everyday earbuds while editing videos and exploring the outdoors with my canine companions these bad boys are noise isolating water resistant and pack a whopping 35 hours of battery life perfect for those long hikes or work sessions. But don't just take my word for it, Raycon has tens of thousands of five-star reviews. What sets Raycon apart? 
Premium tech at an affordable price. Not only do they offer earbuds, headphones, and speakers, they promote a healthier lifestyle by offering air purifiers and water filters. So check out their new line of home products. Cold ass riders can take advantage of Raycon's early Black Friday sale by going to buyraycon.com slash Buckingham for 20 to 50% off the entire store. Start your holiday shopping early and elevate your audio game with Raycon. Screaming Black Lives Matter, but they lying. So don't get spanked. It ain't Black Lives Matter, it's don't get spanked. Black Lives do matter. We just trying to make D.C. better. We just going to cure these streets. It's okay to work a nine to five. It's okay to be regular. Too many young brothers losing their lives out here. Peace and love up here. Fuck that anyway, man. Too many niggas. Where the bitches at? One thing I see about these young is they're not afraid. They tired of this shit. We got people like Lil Durk who've been out the hood for years. Still talking about what's going on in the trenches. If you ain't putting shit together and coming back and getting them kids out of this motherfucker, then you shouldn't even be glorifying the shit that they still dealing with. And I see the good in the bad because you're giving them a platform, but also the people that's tuning in and watching it, they don't know that these is youngers who really, like, these kids got to really go back in these projects. They got 20, 30,000 followers, but they still around their way. Some kids still got to go to school that PTSD is real they say the youngest in the inner city they deal with more PTSD than the people overseas and it's crazy because after they shoot somebody they got to sit down and go through extensive therapy before they can even get their gun back and go back into the field something happened in these youngest neighborhood they send their ass right back to school if a nigga shot right here right now on my the most thing I might say is damn you get to a point where we gonna do cry and break down and be broken after somebody that is too much violence it's too much stuff going on for like, everybody hurting behind this we know we hurting every six weeks it's like yeah you might have somebody randomly die from old age cancer but it's like, nah, when you're in the trenches, people just be randomly dying for the most random reasons. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't get don't fucking get spanked. spanked. If you know, you know. Don't get spanked. Let the whole city know. We started that excuse me shit on the hill. Excuse me, Everybody hello. else saying excuse me and all that other excuse dick me. around shit. Hello. We started that shit. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I never heard that. Yeah, we started that. I'm telling you. You ever hear somebody say excuse me, they got it from us. I mean, if I shoulder check a, a, a old lady in a store on accident, I'm going to say excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. me. Like, get the fuck out of my way. Like, that's uh, like that. Like, y'all got new when to use and when not to use. Niggas be overusing it and shit, trying to dig rat. This shice life right here, free shice life. Hey, hey tell them shit, shice. Hey, free the man, man. Yeah, man. Life, man. That's all that be about, free shice life, man. Free all the good men down 1901 Hot Brick Hotel. We bringing hots down there too, excuse me. In the streets in the jail, we official. That's how we coming anywhere. You hear a nigga from 30 Sam down there, you might as well just start getting scared. I'm only 17, I can't even go over to jail. I'll be down to YCB and shit up, though. You been in the juvenile? Yeah, even now, juvenile. That ain't too much of nothing, though. It's like every time I get caught, they just let me go. I got arrested five times when I was a teenager. Fuck you, you locked up for, man. Stealing, truancy, leaving school, and then three times for being like drunk as shit out in public. Nah, you doing it, and you doing it, and you doing it well. Like, look, I ain't gonna lie. If you know from, if you known in the DMV, you either a whore, you getting fucked a whole lot on Ock. You boost, or on Ock, you just find some way to stand out. That's about it. But. And then DC, it ain't too much or nothing. Like, it, all these bitches are shitheads. Does pretty much everyone on the yell say, like, on Ock? That's one of my big brothers, man. Lonely Ock, man. That's how we coming on the hill. Ock the Clicker was a resident of 37th who was going viral for his rap music when, at the age of 18, his life was tragically taken by a rival rapper. His songs, Yo to the Blow and Straight Facts, are two of my favorite out of the DMV. I've been smoking Lennon since the day that he died. I got me a 40, I swapped out a 9. I took that little 40 and got me a 5. We've been the bend in them little niggas high. I think the clicker was one of the, the biggest artists at the DMV before that whole shit went down. Yeah, man. That like was one of the yeah, biggest artists up here, too. See, the biggest. You and me. The only clicker. The biggest clicker. All that other shit fraud. I ain't trying to hear nothing else say clicking about nothing. Niggas don't click That's nothing it. but a keyboard. The biggest video I've seen covering like DMV hoods is the Simple City versus 37 thing. Is that blown up out of proportion? No, they blew that shit all the way up out of proportion. Who the fuck? We don't even know them people up there. They just another neighborhood from up the street. They be want create beefs so the police could try to do shit. They're we tipping. Yeah, that's what they be doing. They be tipping. It's too much on the outside looking in. See, if they come do what you doing right now and they ask us, then they know the full story. When we be saying shit like that, like the this and not a dead, some people be really our family members, you know what I mean? Our cousins and shit like that be passing away. So we just make sure they name's still alive in the music. Condolences, man. We giving out our condolences. That's Don't a kind gesture, yeah. That's sure. all we do up here. All right, we got young Jose right here from 37th. What's up? How you feeling? Cool and cool. I'm high as shit. Too many voices. I'm fighting these things. Little brother, I'm going back to robbing this game. How do you guys get down for 4th July out here? Oh, you got to wait nighttime and the liquor come out little females come out what kind of liquor you drink don julio i got it on me right now you want some yeah let's get it in i feel like a commentator right now yeah make sure y'all get young threat man how it's coming in the city man we got we got a uh, young jose on reporter mode right now yeah really fox five no. <laughs> no. Nope. Make sure you keep that in there i'm not fox five i don't even know what that is or 
None about it. When someone from Washington, D.C. is murdered, it's usually reported on Fox 5 News Network. Fox 5 Gang is something that many rappers from 37th claim in their songs. Fox 5 Gang, oh, never hey, But it appears to be more of a rap group than an actual gang organization. They be dick riding. That's what dick riders do. It's yeah. nothing to be scared of. I'm telling Fox 5 is not a group or organization or nothing criminal. They just be making shit seem better than what it is for real. That's Fox 5 Community Center. Fox 5 Recreational Center. Oh, okay. I might be a part of the Recreation Center yeah. for the kids and the youth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to start getting into, man, the youth, man. Giving yeah. back and shit like that. Oh, if there are any feds watching this, there is no possibility of any kind of RICO, nothing. I've been here. I'm white. I'm a free lick. They're not doing anything to me. They're nice people. They're good people. Oh, you went without me. Never mind. They're bad people, man. You went without me, man. Ding. Oh, Happy Fourth. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got problems, bro. I got problems, man. I got, I got that nigga just goggled the liquor like it was mouthwash. Yeah, I got demons, man. Too many voices. I'm fighting these demons. Uh -huh. Go broke, then I'm going back to robbing this, this game. That was two Ugh. shots on camera. Yeah, appreciate you, man. It's nice to meet you. Next, I spoke to Ro Millie, a rapper from 37th who was a close collaborator of the legend Swipey. Yeah, little bitch, whatever. Yeah, little bitch, whatever. Man. Big squad boy. Born and raised up 37. What's it like growing up there? Man, be shit going on, man. You know, the litest hood in the city right now. Everybody want to fuck with the yo. I feel like it's probably the most notorious place in D.C. at the moment. Hell yeah. Making noise. Any rappers in the city right now is, that's buzzing for real is from 30 Sam. You had Shy Glizzy, you and Swipey. You and Swipey, Jose, everybody, you know. So what was it like coming up with Swipey and all that? That shit was lit, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, we used to be doing so much shit. We did a tour with uh, Lil Dirk. That shit was lit. And you did shows with Wale. For real, for real, though. Back when I was rapping with Swipe, Long Live Swipe, you know what I mean? I wasn't even taking that shit serious. Like, I was just doing that shit just to do it with my man. He was really doing that motherfucker. Shorty was the goat. Pop me a pill, I'm gonna roll like I'm Kelly. Pop Sipping on Lena, go straight to I'm my belly. Cold on the block, man, go get you a hell. I want that bread like peanut butter. Too. He mentions you in that song. He said, Millie came through, 20 came, came through. through. We, we ran, ran a train and went chew. Ah. Sick, lil' bitch got the flu. Ah. Get on my whip, use a fool. Ah. I got the deuce in my boot. It's the 4th of July. What do you guys do for fun out here on 37? Turn up, drunk as shit, fucking with the bitches. I got it on me right now. What you got on? Julio, I got Hennessy. Nah, I don't fuck with that, bro. What do you drink? Don Julio. I got the Julio. Rebosado? Of course. Let me see. You think I'm capping? Yeah. Right there. Okay, then. Yeah, this that shit right here. Yeah. That's what I like. For those that don't know, Romilia is a veteran of 37th. He came up with Swipey eight, nine years ago. They were putting in work. Still ain't give up, though. I ain't where I want to be at yet. Just yet. You hear me? Let's hit that. I just took a shot. Not with me. The cam recorded. I ain't trying to hit nothing. Would you go ahead and take your shot? All right, let's get it. Oh, you trying to make me take another what shot? What are you talking? I thought we were getting it in, real Millie. Come on, man. Come on, bro. I ain't fucking with you. It's too early, man. I'm like that. I'm like that in a terrible way. Let's walk around. Give me some historical information about the yo. What has it been like seeing the different generations of rappers and talent come through the area? I did two years in jail back in 2018. I came home. My hood had so many rappers. Slim. I was excited. You hear me? That shit was lit. Niggas know what the fuck is up with this hill, man. You hear me? Yeah, this is a tactical position. It's one way in. You can see they're coming. You can see the street. They're coming. That nigga better not pull up right here. Unannounced. Man. I called threat. I was like, I'm coming with the white Prius, just so you know. You might catch your bitch around here. I ain't gonna lie. Like, niggas better watch their baby mothers tonight. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Yeah. You get a basketball, Romilly? Hell yeah, I grew up playing basketball. That was the funnest shit ever. We used to have a basketball court in the alley down there, too. For the you young guys play like ding dong ditch and shit? Hell yeah, we kick the shit out your door <laughs> and get the fuck, yeah, me. I'm gonna take you to the top of the hill. Look, they have all the festivities out. They have their American pride out. They got the balloons, the banners, they do, everything. They do this every year. This is definitely more decorated than uh, where I live. This how I move around, man. Big boy, black truck. You know, that's how I'm coming, yeah, me. I'm black trucking everywhere. You got the tents, too. See, I ride around in a Prius, and not only is it a Prius, it's a fishbowl. Romilly, before you go, I gotta ask you a really serious, hard-hitting, devastating question. Are you ready for it? Yeah, what's that? What do you think about the anthropomorphic community, AKA furries? The what? The anthropomorphic community, AKA furries. What is that, bro? It's people that dress in animal costumes. They have personas, they think they're a dog, an owl. They fucking crazy as shit. Why the fuck is you dressing in an animal suit? Fuck, you wanna be a dog? They have sex in the costumes and all that. Oh, fuck, nah, I ain't doing that, bro, yeah. If someone pulled up tonight with the furry outfit on, what are you saying to them? Man, they might get their ass shot, niggas don't 
don't come up here dressed up in costumes and shit, bro. Well, hey, right now, this is an open invite to any of the furries. You guys should come to 37th and Southeast DC. It's a great place. You're welcome here. Don't Anytime. try that shit. Don't try that shit. Hey, shout out my furry ops. As of right now, my new merch drop is live with awesome long sleeve like this cigarette aerobic one, cold ass riding t-shirts, cold ass riding hoodies with the front like this and the back like that, Ice Gang Syndicate t-shirts, and a new pack of blue and pink cold headbands. Get them, get them. Right there, get it. They say turn around, Nana. Show them what you do. Show them what you do. Yeah, tell you got fans, your fans are going crazy. She can a shot right now, y'all. When that liquor get on her system, she gonna loosen up. Look at that, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he ain't shit, yo. You good, you good? <laughs> Man, the best fall. Yeah. He's one of the best on the hill, y'all. You gotta redeem yourself. Are you alright? Hey, I'm straight, man. I'm Hell straight. yeah. Personally, I don't wanna <coughs> be drinking no liquor. People be real losing their mind and shit off liquor. You feel what I'm saying? Slow down. If y'all gonna drink, take it easy. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Y'all be doing too much. Don't get like him. Oh my awesome. god! I've awesome. never yeah, seen this. Yeah, it's different, right? Pull up. Yeah. Oh, we gonna get a little sip of oh, that. Nah, it's like, too late like, anyway. Like, man, and what the fuck is that about? <laughs> you saying I'm gay, I'm creepy, oh, nah. I'm ugly? Yeah, yeah, Shaggy! No, 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 no. They about to go shot for shot hey, with you. Y'all want a drink? Yeah. The people want to know uh, what your body count is. I don't got none. <laughs> like females. I'm you a virgin? I'm about coochies. Yeah. My God. What about that? We're just like two buckets that are open rubbing okay, against so each other. Y'all got to subscribe to the OnlyFans if y'all want to do that. Wait, no. My name not Glock. Fuck all the up. OnlyFans up? Damn, Damn Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, y'all are grilling me out here. Shaggy, fucking Narwark. Jeffrey Dahmer. Why you keep calling me a gay murderer? You just got cut out the video. Cheers. <laughs> Hell to the fuck no. You were about to get you about to get a, a, a pop-up on screen and a plug in the description. You blew it. You blew it. You trying to drink it? No, I don't need drink, bro. This is Hank, aka Guap. They say he built 37th with his bare hands. What are the benefits of not drinking? Well, it's that when you have a sexual intercourse. Yeah, that's a fact. What are you smoking on? A black amount. Just black amount? Can I hit that? You don't eat ass, dude. Anybody ever tell you to like Shaggy? Shaggy! No, no. I hear it. You're like Shaggy, you're like Nardwar, you're like uh, Nigel Thornberry. Everyone that's ugly, everyone just said, hey, you look like all these ugly dudes. Take a shot. Why you, why you holding the bottle? Take a shot. Where's the Julio? I thought we were about to do it. That looked real cool, bro. Excuse me. Hey, all we doing all summer, right? We getting lit every day, man. Long litter, man. Freedom, man. And if your bitch up here, just know she having the time of her life, man. We gonna return her home later, man. We hard working men at the end of the day, even though it may not look like it. A lot of money has been made right here in this island today. This right here is the definition that everybody eats. Somebody brought us a seafood boy. Oh, you guys are eating out here? Bro, they got shrimp. Get the shrimp on the camera. Who chef this up? I can't, I can't say all that. I can't say all that. Ah, okay. I can have one? Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. yeah that's, that's good as shit. These are some of the best shrimp I've ever had in my life. I'm serious. Since the nice people of 37th hooked me up with some shrimp the first time I went there, when I came back on their 4th of July, I wanted to return the favor. Alright, so it's 4th of July. We don't have any hot dogs or hamburgers out right now, so I'm gonna have to go retrieve some food. Where am I going? Eddie's, the carry out. People in DC are talking about mumbo. What on earth is mumbo? Mumbo sauce. You ain't never had mumbo sauce? I never had mumbo sauce. It's probably my first time on, on camera. Break my hey. mumbo virginity. Give me the order. What am I getting? What do you want? You gotta let me know. I'm letting you suggest oh, wow. what we're all getting. Four wings of fries, fried hot, mumbo sauce, and everything. Mango sauce, salt, pepper, hot sauce, ketchup. That's how you do that. You say you want all wings? Well, I'm blessing the whole block. Nah, there's, there's a lot of niggas out here. Well, we can't have 4th of July without some food, man. All right, this is what we got to do. We're going to go 20 wings strong. Salt, pepper, mango sauce on the wing, two large fries. I'm doubling up everything you say yeah. right now. Oh, okay. Uh, damn. We're what celebrating. All right, it's done. We're gone. All right, we got Eddie's behind me right here. This is what Young Thread wanted me to bring to 37. He wanted 20 wings. I'm going to bless him. I'm going to give him 100 so everybody could eat. When I come through and do a vlog or a documentary, everyone eats. Let's get some wings, celebrate 4th July. Now I'm gonna try that mumbo sauce. Hello. How you doing? A hundred wings, fried hard, mumbo sauce, salt and pepper, hot sauce, and ketchup on the side. Four large fries, mumbo sauce, salt and pepper. So 188 and a 68. Damn. All right, you guys, drop a like and a comment to bless me in the algorithm so I can get this $188 back. Mumbo sauce. Mumbo sauce. 
Order ready? Oh my goodness. Wait till you see what these wings come in. Yeah. <laughs> I can't carry all this. This is ridiculous. Is this everything? Yes. Thank you, happy 4th of July. But I hurt my back carrying this. This is like 50 pounds of food. Well, at least I got my money's worth. Let's go back to the yo. Are you guys hungry? This shit is so heavy, I almost blew my lower back out picking them up out of the thing. Look how they came. Damn. Look at that. Oh yeah, you got mumbo sauce in there. I got some got kind of sauce. You got Everyone that. Eat, we got the wings, man. We got the wings, man. Yeah, get up in there. Wait, hold up, man. Is that fries? What is that? A thousand wings. He said a thousand wings. For those that don't know, this is Wax Bando. He's a cameraman in the DMV. He's a legend out here. Getting on them wings. Oh, God. I know you like wings, bro. Mumbo sauce, a DC classic right here. I got mumbo sauce. I like the mumbo sauce. That's good. And it's mumbo sauce, mo. What the fuck? I told him to mumbo up on the sauce. Oh my, mo. Give us the breakdown. There's different kinds of mumbo sauce. My. This mumbo sauce, some shit. You sent me to get it. No. I was following your direction. They, they gave you the wrong mumbo sauce. They did some petty shit because they saying you was white. That's what they did. That's systemic racism right there. They give you the wrong mumbo. Yeah, they thought you weren't gonna know the difference. You're doing that on someone's shirt. That was grimy. He's rubbing his chicken wing fingers off on the shirt. We devoured those wings, look at that. You didn't think we could do it, did you? How many waters you supposed to drink a day? He said two bottles. So 32 ounces of water, you think? Only two. I say 11.5-ish. Man, this man's walking around dehydrated as shit Man. all day, every day. Exactly. His piss probably looks like tree bark. You get cramps a lot? You're cramping like shit, aren't you? I'm about to start getting back into the liquor. You got me drunk early. I like to wrestle with the liquor. I don't like to wrestle with mine. You fight, it's like, mm. Mm. You ever see someone do that off the liquor? Mm. How long have you been rapping for? Seven, eight years. How long did it take for it to start catching traction? About three years. That's where I'm at with the YouTube stuff. I'm about three years in. 35 million views, something like that. Ah, you're getting a big check. So what's our percentage? Well, yeah. what's my yeah, percentage? Yeah, let's talk business. How yeah. much do you want? I was thinking you get 95, I get 5%. I'm Everything. cool with 2%. <laughs> so if you get that million, I'll just get that 200,000. You know what I'm saying? I'd be cool with it. I think it'd be more like 20,000 if I get a mil. I'll get you ice cold water and a high five. Nah. Forget. Where are you from? I'm from the mean streets of Carroll County, Maryland. I ain't never heard of that. You never seen someone do a drive by on a horse, have you? You know, the ops are coming. We hear that. The who? The who's? He's from Houston. Houston? I was out in Houston. No, you weren't. Houston. You got a passport. On the internet, everyone says, like, ain't no way he's passport. been to Houston. Nah, you don't have no passport. Passport, man. Chat saying you're capping. Who are your favorite rappers in the DMV? That's easy. Savage, Squat, Threat, Money Set, Giz. So you named five. I only asked for three. So now I got to take a percentage of that business we were talking about back. I got to get, get some liquor in me, man. I'm about to get into withdrawals. Backpack, backpack. When I reach in this. In your what? Backpack? Got the gat in my backpack. Young Jose, MDM. Why should they follow? You. Oh damn, they're not gonna follow you, man. They're gonna see that shit. They're gonna say, how the fuck I don't know him. Talk to your new fans. Talk to the cold ass writers out there. I told them, man, young Jose MDM. They wanna know man. more. You're gonna find out more when you follow them. I'm gonna give you everything. Not everything. too much. I'm gonna give you what I can give you. A reasonable amount? Reasonable. You ran that back pretty quick. Coming so, from everything to just a, just a little bit. I had to correct myself. You know, sometimes you gotta correct yourself. You might, uh. You got huh? You stay pump faking. Nah, I don't even know what that is. I ain't doing no welling, man. Why do they call it welling? What the hell does a well have to do with lying? That's why it's welling, not well. Doesn't make any sense. Why Why that main truck? What do you know T for testosterone, R for uh, reverse, U for under... Take her, C for cat, and K for knife. I just popped me a perk, man. I heard seven junkies in the hood looking like Joe Dirt. Ain't fired his gun in the mother Sundays by the fox. They calling them gunplay. All right, get us a shot. You good? Oh, shit. Is it going to get that much closer than that? Hey, J-Mo, right. want a drink? Drink Dom, man. I'm a Dom, man. Once again, like the intercom going to Simon. I drink Dom. I'm a Dom. What do you drink? I drink Dom. Let's take shot for shot. Well, you said shot for shot? Round one. Fight. That's one. How many are we doing? We on 30 cents, so we gotta go 10. This 4th of July, we gotta do it. I'm already like six deep. <laughs> what the hell? You already did another? That's slow. That's slow. Man, slow down, J Mo. What the hell? Slow down, bro. Alcohol wall. I'm about to shit myself. Oh, whoa, man. Come on, bro. I'm whirling out. That's nine, though. That's nine. That's ten. Nah. Hey, nah, I ain't no way. How many am I? How many am I? How many am I? Why did you do that? I go on wall, man. Man, now. Oh. Look at my goosebumps. 
I have goosebumps and everything. You just ruined my fourth July. All right, last one. You can't say that I bitched out. We on the hill, but she get real before the deal, nigga. Last man standing always live to tell a story, nigga. But don't do it. Please don't do it. One of us go in, then we all go do it. It's that Earl McGee. It's that Earl McGee being called here tonight. How you feeling tonight? Bad. Hennessy 100. Zero. Alcohol wall crossed me up in a different way this time. You want to do it one v one on camera? Come on. He about to break my ankle so bad, bro. This is how you earn your okay. respect around here, man. We have tall wall and the cool ass rider guy. I hope he do not fucking fall. Check the ball up. I don't like his stance. Okay. Oh my God! Don't not go nowhere. Stay in front of that man. Don't forget to finish him. Take off. Ah. Ah. Okay, your time. Okay, Larry. Let him go. Yeah. Then poof, I fuck. Oh yeah, switch on. Oh now you get your go up. You get your go up. Oh now don't throw up out here. Don't throw up. I thought you boxed, man. <laughs> oh, oh, he tried to fall. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, let's take a shot. Fuck it. I try my best. Let's be honest, bro. I almost had you. Stop playing with Tom, <laughs> man. Yeah, he was a D1 prospect, bro. I couldn't even make JV as a freshman. After taking 10 back-to-back -back shots with Baby J Mo, they began recording a music video for their song, Stuck Like Glue. I'ma get that paper. I ain't worried about won't fuck with me. Man, Jose together. I get drops and he won't serve them peace. I crack me a nigga and keep it the street. I was bumming that drink with a bust they peep. They bring up rap, they talk about me. So oh, hey, God, that shit. I'm cramping, bro. <laughs> 25,000, that shit like cat. I'm a drag on these niggas. I got me a bang. Bitch, in the way, trying to throw us a move as a snake in the crew. Now we cutting them loose. Bro, can someone roll me a funnel, J? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah, yeah, funnel, J. Yeah, bro. This, this prop money, this yeah, shit man. fake. Prop man, money, my ass. Fake. Hold on, I'm about to out, I'm about to out flex both of y'all. Hold up. <laughs> check out this, check out this money spread, bro. Look at this money spread. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ooh, ooh! It's like that. Who's got me on a funnel, J man? Man, we smoking butt niggas on here. I got you with, on a dollar. I feel delirious right now. I feel like I almost skipped over the drunk part and just feel sick. And my stomach hurts really bad. I've never drank that many shots that fast ever in my life. Hopefully that'll offset the effects. Money set. You got me on a funnel J, right, bro? You got my back. Oh, you want some funnel J? Uh, funnel J, no weed, just funnel. That ain't right though, but I got you. Help me, bro. This man made the funnel J happen. Funnel J, mission completed. Shout out to him. How you feeling, Hank? You know, I'm on a yo block where we told Glock still rocks and bus stops. You back here, you was up here throwing up like shits, man. Nah, I was almost throwing up, that's important. Yeah, yeah, halfway, halfway. 10 shots, and I didn't know that J- 10 shots? J-Mo said we're gonna do 10. I was like thinking he's joking. He really, really had me do 10 shots in like three minutes. I've never done that. Yeah, I go back, take 10 more. No, I almost shit my pants. I'm not even talking <laughs> about puking. I had to go, that's why I left. I was like, I have to go shit. I, why'd you let me do that? Why'd you let me do that? I thought you had my back. You said you had my back. We drink up here, we drink. 10 shots like that? We call it, we doing it, and we doing it, and we doing it well. Oh, you're doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. At some point, it's too much doing it. What the fuck? Slow down. Hey, y'all. We up on the hill. Come for love. Is that? <laughs> Shit, get real up on the hill. Eat some damn chicken wings. Who, me? Oh, you trying, what you trying to say? I bought 100 chicken wings. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I thought he was saying, like, hell? a bitch need a little um, meat on her body. No, that's rude. I'm not rude. <laughs> And I'm a drunk ass bitch that like to get drunk on the hill. But. Man, y'all know what the fuck going on. We got the hood rats outside. Cruddy Jazz, Sabrina Yana. She got on fake hair on Preston, man. Pull up, we on the cake. We can link up any day. Pull up, we on the hill where shit get real before the deal. Uh. I don't drink. I swear to God. Just, day two. You just swear. Nah, I'm drinking. We already did a shot together. Then you swear and I'm going to look. No, we didn't. Or are you the different one? Hold up. Which oh. one are you? Nigga, I'm him. I'm him. Which him. Who is he? One of them is one of them. The other one's the other one. Which one are you? The other one. I'm him. Hey, look, you he right here drunk as shit. You hear me? You know, I don't condone it. No liquor drinking. You feel what I'm saying? We on the hill. This That's a lot. No you sweating. liquor zone. I'm sweating because I'm high as shit, ho. Huh? Oh. Okay. I've been telling them there's two of them, man. He, we fucking with bro, man. We fucking with bro, man. Yeah. Long as you up here in the camera, it's going to be good vibes every day. You hear me, though? This how you say, be your own person, man. It's okay to say no to drugs sometimes. Man. Yeah. Hear me, we gonna say no to that. I got a book for y'all to read, man. For you all you youngest, man. MJ DeMago, the Million Dollar Fans, man. Read that. 
He gave us some game. We just want to educate the youth, man. This, we ain't no dumb criminals, man. We ain't no criminals at all. We just citizens. You work out? What you do? I'm a wrestler. 100 burpees a day, man. I'm staying in shape. I was fighting the case and my bitch gonna stay. Came home off that, then I caught me a case. Came home off that, then I caught me a case. I'm gonna pay me a lawyer and got time to be played. We out here on the Yo 37, drinking the hand dog. Go with Henny at that. <laughs> well, Excuse me. Excuse me. No, I'm drunk as shit though, so. Yeah. yeah. On a Tuesday. It. Hold on, we gotta keep on, going though. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I'm drinking hen dog, not gray goose. Do what the fuck I want, like Boosie Boo. This is how we get on the hill, man. On the hill, we should get real before the day where a bitch nigga can't come be squeal. Fuck with Young Threat, man. Young Threat, the uh, Young Wolf at. I got some new shit on the way. Go follow me on Instagram. One Threat 30 Sam. Go subscribe to my YouTube. Hey, thanks for having me out, man. I appreciate it. Always, you. always. He's drunk as shit, y'all. We having drunk as shit. I hope he ain't driving back. Uh, Don't drive back. back. Don't drive Happy back. Happy Fourth, though, bro. Peace out. All right, you guys. If you want to see the extended cut, go to the Patreon. As always, thank you for watching. If you want a cold ass headband, you know where to get it. BuckinghamShop.com. To make this episode, I spent two full days at 37. So on my Patreon, I released two different extended cuts with all the footage from both of those days. Also, if you'd like to buy some merch to support the channel my new merch drop is my best one yet i invested over ten thousand dollars in it and i'm certain you like the design so check that out at the buckinghamshop.com thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next week back to the block i'm running it up at a pass around she wanted to fuck gonna hit your head if you ain't wanna duck it's gonna hit your leg if you still duck he wants no smoke uh he wants no action. I get the money, I'm cashing. I run him down, I'ma catch him. I'm hungry as shit, he's fasting. Wait, hold on. He's on the floor, passing. I'm at his door, dashing. Hitting his court, gas him. Up in my torch, blast him. Uh. Gang.